Hey everyone, for part seven today, we're actually going to be focusing on navigation in uh, our Xamarin Forms application. So um, the reason why we're going over this is because in order to select an item, which is what we're going to start getting into, um, we need to go from one page to the other, the page with, um, with our list, and then our detail page. When we select an item, we want to go to another page that shows the details of that item. So we're going to be focusing on navigation for um, this video. We're going to be setting it up. And then the next video, we're going to be talking about um, how to implement um, selecting an item. So if we want to uh, navigate from one page to the other, the um, we have to call application. Um, and this is in code behind. We're not going to actually, I'm just, I'm just, um, showing how to do this generically we're actually going to set up a service for it and uh, but the reason I want to explain my reasoning why here because um, if we just do application current main page um, navigation alright there we have our methods so if we wanted to go from this page to another one we would call push async new and then detail page Oh, hey now. Um, but you get the idea. It'd, it'd be a new instead of main view instead of um, excuse me right here instead of main page we'd have um, detail page or something. So this is incredibly verbose, and we don't want to be implementing this, um, or we don't want to have to say this every single time. So we are actually going to make a service and include those methods. So I already got my classes here set up. Or do we have a page service and we have a page service interface? Whoa. Interface. Cool. All right. And then page service, we will have pull out of a page service. All right, cool. So now we need to populate it with those methods that you just saw. Let's go back. All right. So for instance, the push async. Um, push modal, remove page, um, pop async, etc. So let's go ahead and add those methods in right now. Um, I already actually have this service set up. I keep it on hand because I need this for every application. So this is essentially white labeled, if you want to call it that. Um, we can just essentially take this and stick it right there into the page service All right. okay and then we throw that in the systems or system threading tasks and then uh, using Xamarin Forms as well so I'll wait here a second so you guys can take a look at that pause the video now if you would like to copy that over the main methods we're actually going to be using are, is push async and pop async. So if that's all you really want to copy for the sake of the video, that's really all you need. Oh, and um, this guy right here. So now in the page service or the um, interface, page service interface, we're going to do literally the exact same thing. Just going to copy this guy and we're going to paste it. All right because the service is, or the uh, interface is what we're going to be interacting with and the interface will be um, interacting with the service. So um, let's go ahead now. Now that we got this all set up, we're actually good to go. We can start implementing navigation in our MVVM app. All right. So um, we're going to go to the view model. Actually, you know what? Let's make the button. So this is going to look really bad, but just for the sake, so everybody knows how this works. Um, we're actually going to use a button. Let's do navigation command. So again, we're wiring up a command right now, and this command is going to... Um, go to our next page. So let's actually add some text here. Um, OK, 
Okay. All right, cool. So now this button was going to navigate to the next page. All right. So in our main view model here, we can just go and add another command. All right. Oop. All right, cool. So we're going to do navigation command. All right. Now, this is going to be asynchronous because if we take a look back right here, these are async methods, async tasks. And so we need to do the same. So since this is going to push async, we need to do that right here. So in the main view model, we have our command wiring it up just as we would with any other command. And now we're making our method just as we would with any other um, command or method. So now this is going to put the public async task. All right. Navigation, uh, that'll be fine. Naming convention isn't incredible, but uh, it'll work. So now we have to await. Um, now we have to, or since we're pushing a sync, well, we should um, we should call it right. Well, we can't unfortunately because we actually don't have the. Uh, the service in our view model. So what we're going to do is we are just going to, there's no reason for this to be um, public. All right, we're going to make that private. And then we're also going to make this private. I page service Whoop. accidentally built my bad. All right, there we go. Okay. Page service underscore page service, and then some dependency injection as well. So we got p i page service. Oh, there we go. All right, and then we throw that in the constructor. All right, now we can work with this. So page service, and then we're going to, oh, we're gonna push async, new, and, uh-oh, we don't have another page made. So we actually can't um, push any new page, but we can go ahead and just add this, so async. And then we're, so we're gonna, again, this is a Lambda and we are implementing our method. All right, great. So this is how the navigation command is set up. We, since it's an async method, we have to make this into a Lambda, Lambda expression. All right, great stuff. So now we actually can't do anything because we need another page. So let's go ahead and make another page really quick. Um, all right, new file. Go ahead and find content page XAML, details page. Awesome. All right, great. Now, in the details page, this is extremely messy. I need to put this these in uh, uh, folders, which I will do actually after the video. Right, now we're making our view model for the details page. All right, so we got our view model set up. Oh, wait a minute, no need to do that. Okay, all right, well, that was, uh, that was a little quick, but um, I hope you know what's going on so far. Again, we added our page 
service so we can actually navigate. We're just, we just made these so that uh, we can call these methods easier or more easily, we could say. So um, in our main view model, we have, we wired up a button to a new command and our command is um, awaiting this method, navigation. So we need to um, tell it to go somewhere. So let's tell it to go to the detail page, details page. All right. Great. So now let's go to the details page. In the details page, we have, um, we should probably put something in here. Stack layout. And then we can just throw a label. And put some text. Welcome to the details page. All right. Font size. We'll make that large. All right. Okay. So we got our details page set up in our details view model. Nothing needs to be in it right now. Um, we need to bind it. All right, great stuff. So let's review. We have our main page. We have our button. Um, now it is bound to the navigation command. Now in our main view model, we go back and we see navigation command We're set right there. And now it's telling us to, or that is set to the uh, navigation method. So in the navigation method, we are just simply awaiting page service and we are pushing async to the neg or the details page. Um, excuse me, we're, we're, we're essentially going to the details page. All right, so that should do it. Let's give it a shot. Of course, we're gonna run it. Ah, all right. See now it's saying, "Hey, we need uh, we need parameter in here," which of course we do. So let's go ahead and set that var page service equals page service. Awesome. Great, now we just put page service in here and we are set to go. You know, I think, uh, I think it's weird because there's a lot of YouTubers that don't actually um, run the application after they're finished, which I think is very odd. But anyway, so let's go ahead and click navigate. And here we are. Welcome to the details page. And since we have the toolbar, we can go back and forth. Awesome. All right. Well, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was a little long. Um, again, we're diving into navigation because in the next video, um, as we add our items, when we click on an item, we want to be able to go to um, the details page specifically for this item. So join me in the next video and we will talk about just that. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one.